Hello, my name is Clive Moss and I'm the Infrared Product Specialist for SPECAC Limited. Today I'm going to introduce the 15 tonne manual hydraulic pressing system from SPECAC. The Atlas Manual Hydraulic Press has been designed principally for a wide variety of pressing applications, but most specifically for the production of 13mm KBR pellets that are subsequently analysed by infrared spectroscopy. The 15 tonne manual hydraulic press works by pumping oil as a hydraulic fluid to raise a pressing piston and compress a sample held in the pressing area. The pressing area features front and rear safety guards which help for safe containment of any work pressed within should an explosive event occur from the high forces that are being generated. The press consists of a pump block assembly where the oil is pressurised by the simple pumping action from a handle and the sample pressing side where the pressurised oil is forced to raise the piston assembly. When resistance is offered by a sample, the pressure build-up in the system is shown on the 15 tonne load gauge located on the pump block assembly. For a typical pressing of a sample, we are using the 13mm die assembly as an example of work to press. Raise the front safety guard and place the die to be pressed on the lower bolster pressing face covering the piston. Ensure that the work is positioned centrally and lower the safety guard. Screw down the top bolster pressing face attached to the lead screw by turning the lead screw handle clockwise until the parts to be pressed have come into contact with each other. Rotate the pressure release handle clockwise until it becomes firmly tightened. This closes the pumping system in readiness to build up an oil pressure in the system by hand pumping via the press handle grip. Ensure the front and rear safety guards are lowered and start to pump the press by pulling and pushing gently but smoothly on the pump handle. The correct leverage and force is applied by holding at the rubber handle. It may take a few hand pumps to build up pressure in the oil, but once resistance is offered by the work to the raising of the piston, a tonnage load will be indicated on the load gauge. Keep on pumping until the required tonnage load is achieved. When the required tonnage load is indicated on the load gauge, stop pumping. The tonnage load and pressure of oil in the system can be held for as long as required. You may observe a slight decrease in the tonnage load applied, indicated at the load gauge with a decrease in the oil pressure of the system, as the work being pressed may relax over time. You can bring the oil pressure back up to give a required tonnage load by pulling gently on the pump handle grip further. To release the load on the work, turn the pressure release handle anti-clockwise by about one half of a complete rotation. There is no need to turn this handle completely open. When the tonnage load has been released from the work, it is safe to open the front safety guard and gain access to work that has been pressed. Beneath the tonnage load gauge there is a pressure relief valve which may be set so that any load between 0 to 15 tonnes is the maximum load that can be obtained. The relief valve screw cap knob can be rotated clockwise to increase the maximum oil pressure in the system and hence the applied tonnage load or rotated anti-clockwise to decrease the pressure in the system and the applied tonnage load. This is a useful feature for pressing applications where a maximum load limit is required. For example, 10 tonnes is the maximum load limit for use of a 13mm evacuable pellet die. This feature prevents accidental over-pressurisation of the work. The SPECAC manual hydraulic press is a very versatile, easy and robust piece of equipment to use for a wide variety of pressing applications. With the use of evacuable pellet dies and film making equipment, the press can be converted to construct and make pellets and films of different sizes for similarly a wide variety of pressing applications. Thank you for watching and keep a lookout for further video presentations from SPECAC.